All right, so as you guys can see, man, I literally just woke up. My voice is a little shanky, ranky, danky. But today we got Hellblade, the story so far as you guys video. Oh my god. Now, um, Hellblade comes out the 21st, which is in like four shut more days. Let me shut up. The outcast who became a warrior, who faced her demons and challenged the gods for her lover's soul, has accepted the voices the Furies, as part of herself. Okay. Just like her mother, Galena, she was not like other people. She saw and heard the world differently. But is she cool, though? Like, is she like... Her father, Zinbel, told her she was evil, tainted by the sin of her mother. Dang. Tormented and afraid, she retreated from the world. Where right, she ran away? Until love broke through like the rays of a new dawn. Uh-oh. In Dillion's acceptance, she could live again. He gave light to her mind and freed a warrior from her body. Okay. But the voice of her father stayed with her, uh -oh. reminding her of her curse. And when the plague came to her land, the people blamed Senua. Tough. She took her darkness with her, banishing herself to the wilds. So she was not there when the Northmen massacred her people and sacrificed Dillion to the god of hell. Senua's torment was so deep that the world around her fell away. She, she just took the head of her beloved, the vessel of his soul, and vowed to go to hell herself to save him. She took his head. In mist shrouded horrors, she fought to find the secret path that would lead her to the very gates of hell. Oh, so okay. So she just went to hell by herself. But the okay. Way was marked by fire and illusion. Senua had to fight the gods that guarded these paths and stave off the rot which threatened to consume her mind and end her life. I mean, she is in hell, so like, I mean, this only gonna... conquest could open the gates. It's going to be like a lot of like tricks only and trickery. Blood would bring her face to face with Hela. Face to face with defeat. Once again, Senua was engulfed in darkness, lost in a maze of misery and confusion. Tough. Until Dillion's voice led her to the promise of victory. A sword that could kill a god. To win the sword, Senua would drown in her darkest memories, pulling at the shards lodged in flesh, mind and soul. She pressed deeper into the underworld, resisting its grasping hands and deafening cries until she found her prize before the guardian of Hell's gates. Senua released her rage, a fury that could not be stopped. Wait, not by savage jaws. Are we going to be fighting demons in this game? Warriors. Uh -oh. By the pull of death uh -oh. itself. I see our fire. In defeat and desperation, Senua begged for her beloved's release. But a sacrifice must be made, and burdens cast away. Senua's fate was never in the hands of the gods, but in her own. So what did she do? Only she could choose, out of love, to live, to go on, and to take us with her.
What do you mean take us? What do you mean take us with her? Oh, I'm not going to hell. Uh, uh not me. <laughs> I don't know. No, 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 no. Listen, first of all, play at day one with. All right, now listen. We're gonna go back real quick. First of all, if you guys don't know, listen, because uh, I'm gonna be real with you. I haven't really been caught up on like the story or nothing like that. I've just been excited about like some of like the cutscenes that I've seen because like the cutscenes like something out of like Game of Thrones like on TV, and then like the gameplay. I was excited about seeing the gameplay because obviously we've never seen the gameplay before. But again, those cutscenes that we've seen and her fighting like um, it was like her like fighting somebody like that. Bro, that thing looked absolutely fuego <laughs> fire. But I'm gonna be honest with you though. Um, I'm actually kind of curious because let's be honest, bro. We're gonna be finding some type of uh evil demon dementity. Uh, I don't even know if that's a word, but listen about this story about you know. So basically, um, her dad was like, "Hey, um, just so you know, like even though me and your mother had something, you know, even though me and your mother like created you, whatever, um, you know, you're kind of like you're kind of doomed because like of your mama, like not because of me. I'm your I'm your dad, like." I'm the good guy. Like your your like since like your mama had something to do with you being born, you know, because we both created you. Um, yeah, you're doomed. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm, I'm your dad. Like I'm like I'm I am your dad. Like I I am half of you. Like I am half of you. But the other half of you, your mama, yeah, you're doomed, bro. And so that and, and, and then she literally <laughs> she literally I I don't mean to laugh, but she literally grew up with the trauma of hmm. <laughs> Half of me is doomed. Like, my mom is doomed. And she had that trauma of, of just like, uh, from her dad. First of all, her dad is evil Knievel. Just, just straight, just, just villainous. And then, <laughs> and then she literally had to move on from that. She had to, like, literally, like, because obviously, you know, when you're young, bro, and somebody tell you something like that, you're most likely going to remember it because your mind and your, and your brain is going to soak it up because you're young. And when you're young, you soak up everything. It's like people tell you. Literally. She grew up, she then grows up, she, she moves on from that, I mean, it's, it's still there, like, her, her dad's deep, uh, deep, deep evil demon thoughts is still in there, but she's, you know, she's, she's moving up, you know, she, she, she's moving along life, and, and then, you know, she, she meets a guy, right, everything goes copacetic, everything is fine, she meets a guy, you know, and, and she's all, she's finally happy, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> The daddy comes back. <laughs> the, the dad's like, hold up, you're, you're in love? <laughs> See, that doesn't exist here. And then just breaks it up. Like, what? Like, who are you? Like, bro, her dad is actually a villain. And then, and then, and then she leaves from her. <laughs> and then she's like, oh, wow, I can't even fall in love now. Let me leave this part. She leaves. She leaves. Just, she takes like a little, like a little smoke break. She takes a, she takes a hiatus. Dun, dun, dun. The town gets evaded. Everybody's killed. Even the boyfriend that she fell in love with is killed. I think he got his uh he got his soul sacrificed to the god of hell. Like I'm sorry, what? He got a soul sacrificed to who? What? Where? When? What? He got like huh? To whom? Please say his name. And the guy didn't even say his name, but like we all know who that is. Dun dun. Like. Bro, what, is, bro, bro, what is this girl's life? And then at the end, you know, obviously it was like a little cliffhanger because in order for us to find the answer, we got to play the game. But at the end, she has to figure out. Um, no, at the end, it's up to her if she wants to sacrifice her life or whatever. First of all, that's not even fair. Why does she have to sacrifice her? Huh? And then let's not forget, the girl took the guy's head. The, the like the girl took took her boyfriend's head along like a like the ride like like it's Kratos and Mimir. Like like what are we talking about here? But Comment down below. What do you guys think about this story? I'm gonna be honest with you. The story does definitely seems. Um, how do I say? It seems like something out of like a Game of Thrones type of ish, but also it seems like very. It, it seems very depressing and evil that she went through all this. <laughs> she went through all, bro. She was just. She just had back to back to back to back L's like the Cleveland Browns. Like, but then you know she took a W with with the whole boyfriend thing. You know, and then there's, and then it turned to another L, an L, an L. So at the end of the day, listen, we're gonna see uh, about the story because I'm gonna be honest with you. The way this guy told the story, it seemed like you know she had to like sacrifice herself. You know, at the end of the uh, at the end of like the story or whatever. But we'll see. 
we'll definitely see, man. I'm I'm really excited to see like the cutscenes. Um, you guys know, man, I'm a big like cutscene, you know, like graphics type of guy. I understand that. I know graphics isn't everything, but um, definitely excited to see the gameplay and cutscenes coming down below. What do you guys think about the game? Comes out the 21st, I believe. Right now, it is the 17th, so we got about four more days. And um, see you guys in the pick some out and.